Hi, I'm Mike Emmerich from the NHL on NBC, and this is my story. It goes back to the fall of 1990. My general practitioner in Cherry Hill, New Jersey, Dr. Warren Wolf, did have my family history, and on my mother's side, there were two uncles who had had prostate cancer before. So every year at physical time, he was always very careful to double check. He became suspicious that fall, and we had done ultrasounds at other places. He said, try a different hospital, doesn't matter which one, go to a different one this time. We were going to move to Hershey, Pennsylvania from Cherry Hill, about 100 miles away anyway, so I decided this is a perfect time to get on with Hershey Medical Center. I went over there and they said, you've come this far, why don't we do biopsies as well? They don't hurt. So ultrasound and biopsies were done at that time. The ultrasound, again, showed nothing. The biopsies showed enough. And so I had early detected prostate cancer. I went to Johns Hopkins in Baltimore, Maryland, had a radical prostatectomy in January of 1991, done by Dr. Charles Brendler, who to this day is still practicing in Illinois. And as I left after staying in the hospital for 14 days, that was long compared to what it is now, I asked him what could have been done for me 10 years earlier in 1981. He said, not much. That's the progress that's been made in medical science, and that's why Ed Randall's Fans for the Cure is so important. Early detection means everything. Without early discovery, I would not be leaning on this goal net right now.